everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the new Curse Forge app. All right, if you don't know, Overwolf bought Curse Forge, I believe it was in July of 2020, and they are going to transition over by November the 30th, or starting on November the 30th of 2020, which is one week from this video. Um, so you get the new Curse Forge app from curseforge.overwolf.com. I'll leave a link in the description. There are downloads available for Windows and for the Mac OS, all right? And it's not completely done as of this video, but let's go ahead and take a quick look at it and see what they have, all right? So one thing to note is that it's named, the shortcut that it puts on your desktop is named CurseForge, but if you open the file location for that in the Overwolf folder in your program files, at least on Windows, then it will be named the Overwolf Launcher in there. So uh, there's some discrepancy between the names. I don't know if that'll switch over, but let's go ahead and open it and take a quick look at it, guys. Uh, the good news is it's a very light app so far, especially compared to the bloated monstrosity that was the Twitch app. So the Twitch app will no longer have mods in it. It will just be for the Twitch services, all right? So when you launch, you can uh, choose a game. Now I've set this up to where it launches to my game screen. So if you've ever used the old CurseForge app uh, and somewhat from Twitch, you'll be uh, this will all be familiar to you. So this is the homepage for the CurseForge where you can choose your various games. Uh, then you can choose the specific games that you have installed and look at the resources that are available for them, for them, all right? So the good part about that is now you can, as of now, you can browse mod packs and you can install them. So uh, it's pulling from CurseForge. So if I did something like all the mods, I could see the mod packs and I could choose to install them and all that works fine. If I select the mod pack screen, I get the information about it, uh, all of that, it's videos and all that, and you know, change logs and versions and all that kind of stuff. So all that's functional. And then when you install a mod pack, you can launch it and it'll launch with the old uh, or the new launcher. Um, the jar launcher as of now is not available. So let, let's do like a quick launch one that I can go to my mod packs and I can choose nature's beauty which is not that big of a pack and so if i launch it then it'll open up the minecraft launcher and you obviously have to log in and use your account and all that kind of stuff but it's uh familiar in the uh, same way that the uh twitch launcher was basically all right so if you go to the open folder you'll see that on your desktop or in your file system it uses the documents folder all right so uh, there's a folder created called curse forge uh, not that one there's a folder created called curse forge and minecraft and so the folder structure is very similar to how it was with the twitch app and it kind of has to be because it's using that same mod pack structure so your mod packs are located in instances and then there's the list of my mod packs and when you open one you'll see they're basically the same now i don't know I haven't looked in detail to see if like the Minecraft instance is changing any. I kind of doubt it. If so, it'll prom primarily uh, or probably update itself. Or the manifest.json, that, that stuff might have uh, remnants from the Twitch uh, names and stuff in it. So uh, the all that works and that's good. So right now we can at least play our mod packs. What we cannot do as of yet is create custom mod packs all right uh, that says coming soon and by soon i hope they mean very very soon because uh, they're switching over apparently on november the 30th and what they say is that curse forge will be in read only mode from november the 30th to december the 2nd i believe so over the weekend over a holiday weekend uh i think they kind of pushed themselves to the wall a little bit uh but we'll see how that goes hopefully everything will work out okay so all that's good happy with that uh you're you can exit the app from here you have your settings that are available uh, you can choose to exit curse forge and overwolf now what they mean by that is there is an additional app that's installed along with this launcher uh, that lives in your system tray let me go ahead and minimize this for a second uh, that lives in your system tray and it is the overwolf app let's see if i can locate it uh, right here all right so here's the overwolf app now if you click on that 
then it's going to give you this widget that goes along the side of your screen. Uh, I'll go ahead and close all these so we can focus on that. Uh, and it'll have the Curse Forge app, some apps that you can add to the um, this uh, Overwolf browser, like a screen recorder and does different social apps and all this kind of stuff. And then you can get settings for it. Now, it wants to open with Windows and I have disabled that, all right? So you can, it, there's going to be an overlay of some type. Uh, in general, you can choose to uh, turn off if it starts with Windows, all right? And then that setting back in CurseForge will control whether it quits it when you quit CurseForge. Then you have various settings for your devices, capture sounds, and then personal info and stuff. I, there's, you know, obviously that's where you manage your accounts and stuff like that. Because it's converting over to Overwolf accounts as well. So all that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I can control it. Uh, so no, no problems there. That all looks good. All right. Uh, then for your game specific and Minecraft, you will recognize this page. You could set your path to the Minecraft. As I said, right now it's in documents, curse forge, set the resolution that the game launches at. That's just for the launcher, not affecting, you know, full screen or anything like that. Uh, you could choose if you want to close the launcher when the game uh, starts, uh, all that kind of stuff. Now, again, you only have the native launcher as a selection now. The jar launcher says coming soon. And so that does affect older Mac systems, uh, for instance, that you can't really use that old one. Then you can allocate your memory and put in JVM arguments. So all that's recognizable. Okay, so my only criticisms at this point, beside the not being finished, and it is a work in progress, uh, is that it's not using screen res resolution very effectively. All right, I have a 1080p display here, but I have my scaling and windows set to 150%. Uh, so if there's a lot of space that's unused here. And so if I look at like installed mods, I can only see two mods at a time. All right, and that that's a problem. Uh, there's going to be ads here. Ads are fine because they're supporting the developers on CurseForge to a degree. But, you know, the size of ads doesn't make them more or less effective. And again, there's this all this space that's not being used. So that's an issue. Now, if I do go and uh, change my resolution over to the use the full 1080p uh, like such, then it's it's fine and obviously that's what it was designed for it was designed for a higher resolution displays but again lots of people are playing minecraft on laptops and uh different things you know i mean the the uh, principles of designing for different screen sizes for mobile phones and all that kind of stuff are not being utilized well here all right so uh, that is a thing that hopefully is addressed in the future versions but otherwise guys it's looking really good and we are going to convert over one week from today so i'm hoping everything gets worked out uh, one quick recommendation is uh, in your twitch app back up your uh, data back up your mod packs make sure your mods are updated you can like get a mod like uh or a mod pack like all the mods for instance and pull down uh, a bunch of the mods that you know so you have them on their machine on your machine unless there's some uh, downtime or something like that uh you know in this transitional period but guys it looks really promising i love that it's sleek and clean and it doesn't appear to be bloated. I have no problem with the addition of the uh, Overwolf app uh, as long as we can control it. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was informative and helpful. And if so, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I thank you so much for watching. This is Scott Omato. Have a great day. Bye-bye.